Izanu. I'm so sorry that I didn't listen to my mother at the time and ruined my whole life. But I can't change anything. Now I'll never be able to achieve anything. I know that now, but where was my head before? Back then I thought I was ready to be a mother, and that I really wanted children. My mother and I have always had a wonderful relationship. We always talked a lot, I told her everything, and she knew all my secrets. When I was 13 years old, my mother told me everything about sex and contraception. She also told me that getting pregnant early would ruin my life. My mother always gave me pocket money and helped me with my homework. My mother even gave me advice on how to behave better with boys. All my girlfriends were terribly jealous of me. I had such a wonderful mother. But with my father, I had a very different relationship. He really wanted him to have a son. But I was born. So he really wanted me to do some sports. I chose rhythmic gymnastics. My coach was very good, I worked hard, and that's why I often won various competitions. When I came home with a medal or cup, my father was always very pleased with me. He even praised me then and hugged me. And that was a very rare thing. My father never gave my mother any presents, never took her anywhere. They even spoke very little. I didn't want that kind of relationship with my husband. But my mother put up with it. She just went to work and did my parenting. I had already started going out with the boys. We were holding hands, hugging, kissing. But I treated it all like a game. And then I met Andre. He was just the guy of my dreams. He was pumped up, very handsome, with dark hair and blue eyes. I was walking home after practice, Andrew saw me and gave me a ride home in his car. He liked me and we started dating. I was 15 years old at the time. Andrew treated me like a queen. He often invited me to restaurants, gave me gifts and flowers. Andrew would come to school and pick me up after school. Though, how I was the envy of all my girlfriends. Andrew was already working, he was 26 years old. When it was Andre's birthday, I stayed overnight at his place. We slept together. At first we used protection. But Andre didn't like it so much, and he took me to a gynecologist, who prescribed birth control pills for me. My mom warned me that there is just no such thing as a perfect relationship. There always comes a point when there are complications and misunderstandings in a relationship. That moment came for us, too. Because of the pills I began to gain weight, although I worked out as hard as I could. My extra 5 kilos did not bother me at all. But Andre didn't like the fact that I gained a little weight. He started to get mad at me, yelling and we started fighting. 